In this lesson, we're going to continue discussing printing. If you'd like to follow along, go under the File menu to Open, and in the Sample File folder, go down to 1505 Printing Booklets from your desktop printer, and just click Open. Sometimes you need to print a sample booklet. Rather than have your commercial printer do it, which could cost you some money, you could do it yourself on your own desktop printer if it's large enough to print the booklet in spreads. How do you do that? Well, that's where print booklet comes in. Before we get into that, why don't we take a look at our document? I just set up a very simple document with large page numbers to make it easy to follow what's going on. You'll see that there's a page one cover and then pages two and three, four and five, six and seven, and eight. Well, this is fine, this page order, for just reading the document. And that's actually the order we want our client to be able to look at our booklet in. But in order to print it on a desktop printer, we have to use something called printer spreads. So all of the pages, when we put the booklet together, are in the right place. When we print it on the desktop printer, page one actually has to be next to page eight. Page two has to be next to page seven. Page three has to be next to page six and page four next to page five. Printing it out in that way allows you to take the two sheets of paper that make up your booklet, put them together, fold them in half, staple them, and everything will end up in the right place as your client is looking through the booklet. But how do you go about getting it to print like that? If you go under your file menu to Print Booklet, it's going to open the Print Booklet dialog window. All you have to do is just answer a few questions. Like for instance, do you want all of your pages to print? Yes, we do. The booklet type, this type is actually called two up saddle stitch. It's gonna take the pieces of paper and they'll be folded and stapled in the middle. That's what a stitch is. We're automatically gonna have InDesign adjust to fit the marks and the bleeds on the sheet that we're printing. So obviously we're gonna need a fairly large printer. It has to be a printer that can print on paper that's larger than 17 by 11. So there are some restrictions. Let's get a preview of what this is gonna look like. I'm gonna hit preview and you can see eight is next to page one. Page two is next to page seven. Six is next to three. And the center spread is four, five. So when you take these printed pages, Put them together, fold it, and staple it in the center. When your client looks through it, it's going to be as if he's reading through the regular printed brochure with everything in the right order. The last part of this dialog window is really just a summary of everything that we did in the setup section. To complete printing, all I need to do is just click print. In the next lesson, we're going to begin discussing interactive and animation.